let's set up some QPCR plates. We're going to start with unboxing the master mixes. Here's our box. I will open it up. And inside you will see our fast cyber green master mix as well as our TACMAN Fast Advanced Master Mix. So, let's open up the container. Here's our Fast Cyber Green Master Mix. And here is our TACMAN Fast Advanced Master Mix. As you can see, the top of the Cyber Green is green. The top of the TACMAN Fast Advanced Master Mix is blue. These are our sample sizes. There are one mil of master mix in each of these, and we will set up a plate today with these master mixes. The master mixes, which is so absolutely nice, come with these little inserts that tell you everything you need to know about using the product. For today, we're just going to set up a plate, and it's really straightforward. These master mixes, as are all of our master mixes, are in a 2x concentration. So half of the reaction volume for each well will be um, the master mix. So if we're doing a 20 microliter reaction volume, 10 microliters will be master mix. So these master mixes have been thawed, vortexed, and spun down briefly. And I will set my master mixes to the side. All of real-time reactions will require a plate. Today we're running this plate on a Step 1 Plus real-time PCR system. And the Step 1 Plus has fast plates. So hence, hence we have the fast optical 96 well reaction plates with barcode. This is a 0.1 mil plate. And so now I'm going to set my plate down in my tray. For TACMAN, we also require our TACMAN assays. This is a different box than what you saw the master mixes ship in. The TACMAN assays now ship at ambient temperature. Now our TACMAN assays are in a concentration of 20x. So whenever you're putting together a TACMAN reaction, the master mix is in 2x, the TACMAN assay is in 20x. So if you're doing a 20 microliter reaction, 10 microliters will be master mix and one microliter will be the TACMAN gene expression assay. So here's my TACMAN master mix. And here is an assay. So I added the master mix, I added the assay, and now I will add some water. And now I'm ready to pipette the assay, master mix, and water into the plates. And now we're ready to do the cyber portion of the plate. In this tube, I have my forward and reverse primers, as well as water, and I'm going to add the Cyber Green Master Mix, and then we will again pipette into the plate, adding the sample last. The Cyber Green Master Mix is here, again with the green top. And just as we did for the, the TACMAN portion of the plate, we will add Cyber to the proper wells. So setting up a real-time run is as simp simple as putting together a few components, and then pipetting into a plate. All right, now our plate is set up. The first four rows of the plate contain our cyber experiment. The last four rows of the plate contain our TACMAN experiment. Now we are ready to seal the plate and put it onto the instrument. 